and welcome to Mystic Ashram Tarot. I really appreciate you tuning in with me, and I wanted to ta take a moment and talk about my readings with you. Are these readings for you, um, and how to use these readings? If you've happened upon my readings, they're for you, well, no matter what sign you are. Uh, you might want to start off with your sun sign and then complement that with your ascendant sign. You can find your ascendant through any astrology chart calculation service online. Uh, Astrodeans.com is one I've used for many years. Not to rec represent a particular one. So, um, and also, you may want to then complement this with your moon sign. Um, I usually do my readings uh, according to uh, what order they come into my western chart. So, uh, if you are used to the Vedic style, uh, these tarot are done um, through Western style, unless it's a Vedic deck, in which case I'll complement the video with that. So, I hope to get to other decks soon. However, I wanted to try and make my videos short so that I can complement each of the 12 signs. And if you have a particular question which is bothering you, um, in your, say, love life, I would recommend, for example, Venus reading, whatever sign your Venus is in for that month, um, and so on. So, uh, the, the notes, uh, although I'm not covering notes, you could apply it to notes, uh, if you wanted to do the progressed ele elemental astrology, um, so, uh, without further ado, thank you very much for tuning in. If you, this video helps you, please like. Um, it would really help me if I had a thousand subscribers, then I, I would have a monetized uh, video system. And here on YouTube, and also um, if you want to hit the bell, you can receive alerts about my tarot videos and deck reviews, as it were. So, this month, to start off with, um, I am looking forward to doing the Melanie Jinron tarot deck for October. However, I'm going to call, try and complement that with other readings with other decks. So, uh, you can also, if you want to see my videos improve in quality, please subscribe to my Patreon account. Um, there's information below each of my videos about how to do that, so that you can become a subscriber to my channel, as well as um, assist me with the creation of my videos thanks to you, and have your name included as a patron. Um, thank you so much for your time, and uh, I wish you many blessings, and see you in my next videos. Take care. Hello, and welcome Aquarius to your October reading here at Mystic Ashram. What have we got in store for October? We're using the Melanie Gendron Tarot deck, um, and I've tried some new things out with the format of this video, so I hope you like it. Um, your current position is uh, the Ten of Cups. Uh, this is um, actually really good for you. This is emotional abundance. You're, you're actually getting a lot of positive feedback um, in your personal life right now. Um, although this is a romantic couple that's featured, it, it could also just mean um, it's not necessarily romantic abundance only. It is um, a, a feeling of, of getting emotionally back on your feet, which is really positive. Then in your current position at the moment, we have um, the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands indicates a very hard worker. It's taking up action in an earthly sense. 
um, and it suggests that uh, you're going to be um, receiving the fruits of your labor. It's the culmination of, of worldly effort. So um, then in your headspace, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, the Eight of Pentacles suggests um, some, some good thoughts and a lot of industrious hard work in a creative sense. Um, you're, you're finally really feeling your stride, um, which is really good for you, Aquarius. Um, so uh, then, and getting recognized for hard work in the earthly, realm we have the ten of swords and the ten of swords indicates um some some uh, lingering sadness lingering uh thoughts of um which are difficult difficult thoughts um a difficult uh emotional but more intellectual space so um this uh like you are in an earthly sense um, feeling thought down upon um, and and it makes you sad something in your earthly sense makes you sad even though in your your mind you're you're really feeling like you can uh, finally work um, the queen of swords is in your past and um, this is uh, a queen, uh, of course, a, a very feminine energy, but also a very cut away the fat energy, a very uh, not mincing words energy, a very um, like a lot of um, very uh, strong energy for uh, intellectual stuff. Um, a powerful force that is logical, that it wants uh, things to be critically thought out, that is um, perhaps even harsh in its reality. Um, so uh, that's, that's in the past, having to uh, take no prisoners and, and uh, be sharp with your thoughts seems to be in the past and in the future we have king of pentacles and king of pentacles indicates uh well that there's a strong masculine uh earthly presence that it, it has money or providing to to give you i i see a new position a new job a new path will be offered to you aquarius congratulations uh this is very very good and then emotionally this leads to the three of cups which is a celebratory card not celebratory but uh celebratory um, you're going to be partying down with some some friends. You're going to feel some good times. You're going to feel some good socialization, and that's fantastic. Um, so emotionally, I see uh, better times, um, better social events. Now, in the um, other emo others emotional states towards your situation for the month of October, Aquarius, is the Prince of Cups. And the Prince of Cups indicates a younger male energy that is more emotive and uh, that you're going to be introduced to um, like new situations with others. Others' emotions will be uh, younger and more caring towards you. Um, people will be inspired and emotionally like protective. Um, during this this whole transition this prince of cups is is um, very much a uh, not a fully re realized king of cups but the prince of cups really is trying out emotionally um, new things it's it's about uh, 
a younger inspirational um, this guy is holding out this cup to you basically and and uh, offering offering this cup um, in a uh, fledgling way so very innocent caring guy so um, the influence on the future is the hierophant um, meaning that there is some organization industry uh, structure um, orthodox religious figure could also be government um, there's a lot of this sort of influence in your your future Aquarius so um, I'm, I'm getting that that the uh, organizations that be they're going to be on your side um, and rooting for you and then finally we have the king of cups along with the prince of cups so realized as a the the prince of cups shows up as others emotions towards you and then it results through the hierophant in this king of cups so um I think that the King of Cups is, is really the Prince of Cups realized and uh, taking care of you, Aquarius, that, that there's this entrepreneurial spirit, but this entrepreneurial spirit, this, this person in charge, in power, is going to be really benevolent towards you. Um, there's going to be a lot of, of positivity very soon in your emotional earth in your earthly realm so a lot of positivity through this um, organization there is this amount of caring and consideration which is completely new and maybe unexpected and it comes through your hard work and planning intellectually which has not been matched by the earthly realm as of yet but um, this king of pentacles and this king of cups shows that there's not only money there's a lot of caring for your situation so congratulations Aquarius on a beautiful reading for October and I sincerely wish you many blessings for Mystic Ashram um, signing off and see you in my next video take care like subscribe that kind of thing that would help me a lot and patreon is always there appreciate it have a good night bye